said in his introduction, I do not pretend to be politically correct or sensitive to the many special desires of the various segments of our society. I write only what I know, I say only what I know, from experience I gained in unforgiving circumstances. I know what it takes to be at the absolute best, and I know the price that must be paid when I fail to achieve that level of perfection. The ideas that I present work when nothing else did. They produce results when nothing else did. They are simple but powerful. Sometimes people tell me that things like egotism, complacency, and fear are just human nature. Well, fuck human nature. If you want to succeed and stay successful, you've got to rise above human nature. My experience in life, and my experience in business, which has been fairly exceptional, has proven a number of things, one of which sensitivity normally equals poverty. All the high performance people, and when I talk about high performance people, I don't talk about the top people. There are 5.7 billion people on the planet right now. Plus or minus. I'm talking about the top two tenths of a percent. <clears throat> that means 11 and a half million people. Now 11 and a half million people sounds like a lot. And that one is spread across 5.7 billion. And I don't know what that is as a fraction. They all know that mega wealth gives you choices. And that's really what life's all about. If you choose to take that money and do something about the ozone layer, which I never gave a damn about, or choose to do something about the uh, Brazilian rare rainforest, which I also never gave it anything to damn about, that's your choice. It's about choices. High performance people, in my really talk about it, super growth and geometric growth, uh, uh, quantum growth, as opposed to arithmetic growth. You can't tell Bill Gates or any of the people that have been founded successful companies like he has uh, that uh, geometric growth is not sustainable. The kind of growth that I talk about is by acquisition. I learned about 20 years ago that I wasn't a good day to be manager. Some of you in this audience actually think it's a good day to be manager. I'm here to tell you wrong. Because if you were a good, a good day to day manager, your companies would be growing a lot better, a lot quicker, a lot faster than they are. I'm here to say that most of the main portions, if not 99% of all the mega wealth that's been created on this work in this world has been created with a few exceptions through acquisitions. Buying revenue is a lot easier than creating it. 